uh, private cloud to me is essentially you know your wide area network that you probably used to have on your private networks anyway. So it's not it's no real difference, you know. And that's why I think some of it is oh, about cloud language. is just time time sharing service bureaus from forty years ago. Absolutely, absolutely. But the one thing that scares me about some of the cloud, if the public cloud, not the public cloud, but you know the, the cloud generally, is your lack of control over it, particularly where it's your critical business functions. And as I was saying last night, things like the 9-11 thing, which just completely threw it all out of the water. And the other I think, there's more fundamental things. Um, you know, how many internet lines, serious intellect, in internet connections does the UK have as a match of interest? You know, I think it's about two or three. You know, yeah. doesn't take much for some major issues. Think back, was it last year or the year before last when we had all those issues in Europe, between Europe and Asia, where we lost all the connectivity because so of undersea cables. Well, someone snipped the line. Yeah. 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 Well, I think terrorists could snip a line. Well, absolutely. Smelly pirates <laughs> with nothing better to well, do. Well, they, you know, they weren't sure exactly how it happened, but, you know, off, off the coast of Turkey or Cyprus or wherever it was, it suddenly snapped. So there you go. Well, the Russians were a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So I think you know. It, I think there's a real issue with, with cloud computing, and you need to think very carefully about, you know, what's your business critical applications, and you need to think, um, you know, how much control do you need over things. And the other one I'd say about cloud is SLAs. You know, what's your, what's your what if you've got a critical application? What is your SLA with your cloud provider? I wrote a SaaS bill, right? If you want to take a look. <laughs> I suspected you might be on the way for one of those. It's just been out for a while. Yeah. A lot of that's in there. Yeah. What's interesting about the SaaS vendors is that they're more customer focused. Uh, I wrote this bill of rights, I sent it to them, they said, yeah, we should be doing this. I sent it to Oracle and SAP, I was like, oh, no, 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 very interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, and it's tough, you know, I think everybody will say that sort of thing about um, a, a bill of rights in a, in a SaaS environment because it's, it's new, it's not fully understood. If you look at so look at the way um, SaaS has been brought to market, it's a quick brought to market, and I think if you if, you know you don't have to be um, too clever to look around and see things like Google Mail dropping out and people going, Ooh, wasn't expecting that one. Uh, things like Skype suddenly disappearing, you know, oh that's an interesting one, and things like that. And people are waking up to some of those issues that are out there. I think there was a also um, six twelve months ago uh, a cloud computing model vendor went out of business. And what people found was that it was it yeah was it I, I can't remember who it was but there, there was a problem extracting the data from that it was Lucidera. yeah and you know so there are lots of lots of issues with that you know you really got to understand it and you really got to think carefully about it I'm not saying it's, a, it's something that people want to adopt because I'm sure they will but I totally like, my view would be that it would be a hybrid model you know you're going to have your critical in-house and you're going to use other things where perhaps the you want a speed to market issue where you want to be able to do something quickly or you don't want to invest in hardware associated with that or something like that, so you know you just want a very quick win. Or you might only have a small number of people who actually need that functionality. So you may only have you know, 10 salespeople that want to do a particular thing, so you'll buy that through the cloud because it makes more sense for you. But you also recognize the risks of some of that in as much as you might not be you know, too concerned about some of the SLAs associated with that. You might say, well, I can live with that if that goes offline for a day. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's a different way of operating.